In this video, we'll bring you the essentials of on how to turn public procurement data into a major story. What do I mean by major? Any journalist can investigate a specific contract. If you are knowledgeable on procurement and transparency laws, you might check the tender or request additional information. You might even visit the site where works have been conducted or interview the users of a given service or request a statement from the contracting authority. This traditional approach isn't easy to scale, however, and you won't be able to investigate many contracts. Moreover, how can you tell if a contract is dodgy? Often, the journalist is reliant on a concern, source or competitor to alert them. So, how can we do things differently? With data journalism. Using databases, spreadsheets, data visualizations and other techniques, data journalism allows you to go from dealing with isolated one-off cases to analyzing global trends and problems within a sector. It's not a question of analyzing one or two specific contracts, but of pinpointing and exposing, for example, the continued exploitation of split lots in procurement or control over a sector by just a few companies, aka a cartel. Major, as you can see. A good example of this type of journalism is Sivia's investigation into the public works contracts in Spain, spanning from 2009 to 2015, the Brickins. Analysis of over 8,000 contracts reveal a sector with little competition. Between them, 10 construction companies won 25% of all public works directly and 75% in partnership with other companies. And take note, all of these companies have been implicated to greater or lesser extents in corruption scandals. In some cases, their managing directors have been arrested for illegally financing, uh, financing political parties. To better understand what steps to take in a data journalism investigation, what problems journalists face and how to overcome these, take a look at the methodology for that investigation. The methodology even links to raw data and the code used in the research where applicable. What you find here in the methodology behind the CVO investigation in a sample of the problems commonly encountered in an investigation of this scale and complexity. Procurement is a field where the quality of the data often leaves much to be desired. We want you to be prepared for the worst. So, what types of problems might you encounter in this sort of investigation? We might first mention the fragmented nature of procurement portals. This information is not centralized in any way. Each region or public body publishes its own data, making it pretty much mission impossible to get a global overview of procurement in the country as a whole. Furthermore, these portals tend to be designed for the participants' intenders with no thought to citizens or journalists' need for transparency. Or even worse, sometimes transparency is hindered on purpose by catch-ups or by blocking robots that scrape the data. Structured data, once downloaded, often reflect a lack of verification and consistency. Officials responsible for capturing information might make mistakes or not understand certain aspects of the law. And IT systems don't help them or verify information, so they often contain contradictions. In other cases, information is missing with required fields that haven't been filled out. And to make matters worse, even often, very often, the most important information, such as who the successful tender is or the names of their competitors, is only available in a badly scanned statement of a word, PDF. To round out the list of common problems, in many countries, such as Spain, the trade registry is not open, open to the public, that prevents us from performing a mass search for the names of companies successfully winning tenders so as to detect errors, reveal who they are owned by or whether they are part of a parent company. But don't despair. These are some positives. And important and one to be highlighted will be 
that this sort of investigation goes beyond a single article with a few generalized graphics. It allows you to build tools so that readers and other journalists can analyze the data, data in depth. Thus, in the case of our investigation into public works in Spain, a search engine allows the contracts of a public body or particular company to be visualized along with any ties their managers had to other companies and public figures. And that's all for now and on how data lets you hit the big time. In the next video, we explain how to find themes in public procurement small print.